Hey, what's up guys? Brian here, Brian's Law Maintenance. As you guys can see, we are doing some fall cleanups. I promised you guys I would try to capture some video. So today, I'm doing this one right here. Going to be knocking out a leaf cleanup right here. Got the Ultra Vac mounted on the lawnmower. A lot of you guys have just seen my uh, 2017 fall cleanup. And this is as live as it gets, man. I don't even put everything back away. Hedge trimmers, blowers, the whole deal. So we're gonna be doing a leaf cleanup. Let me show you guys what I do, uh, for example. So a lot of you guys are asking me, hey, what do you do for 125? What do you do for 150? Now, I get some of you guys do $350 leaf cleanups. Um, this is not my clients over here. But you go 15 minutes down the road and it gets high end, sure, you can do that kind of stuff and uh, charge that those kind of uh, prices. So this right here is what we got. We're pruning the uh, tall grasses and the hostas plants. So this right here is what I'd include for the 125. Now, if somebody just wants me to do a leaf, kind of clean up, mow and go, it's only gonna be about 90 bucks. But this one, for example, I can blow all these leaves, or dump them, in the back wood line, because the guy owns this. So I gotta vacuum all this out. And all I do is just take the blowers and rip through here. I get around all the trees, around all the bricks, because this stuff just cakes there. Same thing here. Look at all the house plants in the in the beds. So today it's like 35 degrees and literally like 20 mile an hour winds with 30 mile an hour gusts. So not the most optimal day to do cleanups. But here's what you can do is that do all the properties that face the way of the wind. That way the wind is literally helping me out blowing them into the woods. So uh, we've had some massive rain lately and honestly it's it's sucked. It's been uh, tough schedule so far but let me pan the whole property so leaf cleanups are a little different as you guys can imagine we're gonna do it all backwards we're going to prune first then we're going to blow all of this onto the grass because you can't really suck up the leaves on the cement we're gonna blow out all the beds you guys can see the winds going this way which means it's gonna go right into the middle of the yard which is perfect um, I don't really prune too much for my customers. I, it's a service I can do, service I offer, but most people, it's just the tall grass is like all this kind of stuff and blowing out all these beds. So this right here, it'll probably take me a good hour and a half and uh, it'll be 125 bucks at least. Now some of them when I start pruning, yes, it can get up to in the twos. Um, I know a lot of you guys are like, oh, we charge more, we charge less. It's my Keith Kalfas voice, and uh, and that's cool. I get it. You know, everywhere is different. For most of my customers, most of my subs, my prices have been steadily increasing over the years. So I agree. Uh, getting better with pricing, and just charging more, man, because we're doing a good job. But uh, man, it's freezing out today. Rocking the Volt gloves, the heated gloves, so you can't uh, can't freeze too much. This thing right here, man, is a lifesaver. By the way, I don't know if you guys can see this. You guys gotta get one of these masks. It's like 20 bucks, man, it saves your face. Um, so anyway, let's go do some uh, some cleanups, do some action here for you guys, and uh, this is one of the first cleanups. I'm trying to bring the camera with me, guys, but it's just tough when it, you're, ri you're riding solo, and we got all the uh, mowers moving and the blowers moving, and uh, sometimes it can take me a half hour to blow out a whole yard and a whole property, uh, and I don't wanna bore you guys with all that, but uh, I'm doing my best to try to capture some for you guys today. Another thing a lot of you guys ask, well, what do I do with all the stuff that I prune? Well, I bag it all for right now until I've got my second buddy working with me uh, for the dump trailer. So you gotta do what you gotta do. Uh, I just throw a couple bags over there. I take them to my mom's, put them uh, on the curbside pickup, and that way we're able to take care of all the tall grasses and the uh, hostess plants. Honestly, most properties it's like one bag, so it's really not that big of a deal. Throw seven, eight, 10 bags on my mom's uh, corner lot. You just gotta do what you gotta do, man. Uh, so, you know, we gotta get more employees one day, get the big company bigger. That way you can get like a box truck and uh, a second truck and trailer and we can go to the dump and uh, do what the big guys do. But in the beginning, man, you just gotta be resourceful. That's what it is and uh, there's nothing wrong with that. And you know, just gotta keep moving forward and making that money. So let's uh, go blow some leaves out. Let's go prune and let's get this one going. Quite possibly one of my favorite tools, the Echo 2420. Perks of being a UAG member, I guess. Rock and roll.
lot of this stuff I just pull, I'll go over it with the blower obviously, blow out the whole bed, and then I'll come back through and even do it again, just to clean it up and make it look really good. All right, man, now that I got all my tall grasses out of the way, which, you know, this house didn't really have that many, maybe like 10, 15, now I'm gonna go rake them. And then after that, we're gonna blow the whole perimeter of the property against the beds, against everything else. And then the last thing we do is we take the mower over it and vacuum all the leaves up. guys so if you can see I've got all the leaves off the driveway off the sidewalk because the mower doesn't pick up the leaves very well and then I did all the way around the perimeter of whatever the mower can't get and same thing with these little beds on the boulevards the mower can't get around there too well so I kind of do an outline of the whole perimeter yeah, and this is only my second year doing fall cleanups I mean I've done a, quite a few and I get the concept, but you guys gotta go easy on me. I'm still learning every day. A job like this takes me a good hour, 125 bucks at least, not too bad. Next up, I gotta blow out this bed, then the backyard, and mowing is the easiest part, sucking them up with the vacuum. That part takes 15, 20 minutes. It's the 25 to 30 minutes of blowing all the beds out, which kind of sucks by yourself. Well, what are you gonna do? So my guy gets out of his job, this is what you do, man, you grind it out. Alright guys, so I am all done blowing out the beds and all done getting the perimeter done. Let me show you guys what it looks like. So this whole bed is all done. You guys can see that uh, it gets kind of marshy over here. So I blew this whole lane out the whole way down to the backyard. <sighs> out of breath. You guys can see the beds look literally 10 times better. Uh, over there, they had a huge pile of leaves. I just blew it, scattered it and just made it more flat. That way the mower can suck it up. But you can see I did the perimeter. Perimeter of those two trees, perimeter of that trees. And then what I do is I make an outline the whole way around the property. That way I know where I got my property line and my edges. So I don't have any rocks or shrubs or stupid stuff. Any stumps. Same thing here. The beds look 10 times better, got my perimeter. So, curious, what do you guys do, man? Do you guys follow a similar philosophy get that outline 
Again, it's kind of like cutting a lawn, but backwards. I don't trim when I do my cleanups, obviously. But I'm sure somebody had that question. Uh, so all this I gotta suck up with the vacuum. It looks like a lot, but realistically, this is maybe seven or eight lawnmowers, uh, Phillips. Bag Phillips, maybe, maybe eight, nine. But realistically, this part right here takes about a good 20 minutes. You can see this bed. Gosh, I cleaned this bed out so good. Compared to what it was, I'm telling you, it, uh, it looks 10 times better. So, all right, let's go mow. Let's go vacuum them all up. guys same concept here already did this whole area looking really really nice next up all this So I don't know if you guys saw all that at the end, but I was able to just ram all, half of the leaves with the front of the mower into the wood line. Uh, actually, this guy owns all this for all you people that want to freak out about putting leaves in woods like you don't do it too. Uh, just having fun, relax. But uh, nonetheless, man, I knocked out all those leaves pretty quick, a lot quicker than I thought. Probably saved me at least another two or three dumps. Uh, the mower sometimes will just billow all the leaves forward. You can just, you know, bulldoze them. Curious. Have any of you guys used like those rakes, like the uh, the pushers, you know, that go on the front of those lawnmowers? I've seen a couple of you guys on Instagram that have them and they look pretty legit. Curious if there's any merit to those and uh, something I should look at. All right guys, that's pretty much it for this one. This one took about an hour and a half to do. That's with recording, not too bad. Um, I probably charge this guy about 145 bucks. Uh, I know I can charge a lot more. My prices keep going up every year, but I don't want to sticker shock people and go from, you know, 90 bucks to 200. So it's going to take some time, but uh, that's pretty much it guys. If you enjoyed this one, shoot me uh, a big thumbs up and a like. Really appreciate that. If you're new, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It always means a lot. Guys, thanks so much for watching myself. Brian here with Brian's Law Maintenance. We'll catch up with you guys soon. Bye-bye.